Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's John with 2021 New Age Investments. Finally got this box in the mail. Uh, still waiting on my DCBS order that was supposed to be here Monday. But uh, for now, we'll get this opened up, see what we got inside. This uh, was a large bulk order. Uh, they didn't even box the. They literally just taped up the long box and shipped it. So I don't have high expectations of uh, quality. But hey, you never know. Uh, I remember the, their only pictures in the auction. Good thing was a uh, top photo of all the boxes, uh, the books in the box. I know there was a little bit of stuff that was bagged and boarded, but everything else looked pretty raw and loose. Um, looked like kind of modern and vintage mix. Uh, yep, that's about right, right there. Got something sticking out up here. Uh, don't look like it's in too good shape, but get to that when we get to it. Get this little repositioned here. Make sure you guys can see this a bit. Don't have much space right now with the comic room being built and Christmas in full effect and Christmas tree up. Uh, I got limited space at the moment, so working with what I can work with. Uh, so pictures might not be the best, so sorry about that. Oh no, I know what that book that is. Hello. Now, let's hope it continues. Oh, these things are stuck together. Yeah, you know they've been in the box for a while when they're like that. Yeah, peel apart. Oh yeah, these have definitely been in here for a while. Um, no, no one went through these and looked to see what was in here. They would already be peeled a little bit apart. These things have been in here for a while. But I think that's good for me. Secret Wars 2 is pretty good. Oh, Lord have mercy. Really? Now I'll take that. Let there be more of that. Four dollars. Yeah, all day long. Please. You can tell. Uh, <laughs> Let's get on it. Oh, yeah. I'm getting excited from what I'm seeing. You guys aren't seeing it yet, but I am. My, oh my, could it be? It couldn't happen for what I paid for this box, could it? I literally have $100 invested with shipping in this box. Oh boy. Keep it going. $2.50, Jesus. Please, all day, $2. Yes, at those prices, as many as you can put in a box. Oh, for the love of God, please. <laughs> oh, and I see it, it's there. Oh, that's a nice copy, too. It ain't mint, but yeah, I'll take very fine for $16, please. Could we? Wow. Well, needless to say, I think uh, I got my $100 back already. Can't say that I expected this. I mean, I knew the box had some older paper in it, but... Uh, ooh, Okay. Yeah, two and a half bucks. So those also I would take all day long at two and a half dollars. Well, suffice it to say, if the rest of the box continues like this, uh, I'll be super excited. It's a Christmas miracle all by itself. Well, let's see what we got. Almost everything's not bagged and boarded, so... Condition, I'm guessing, won't be the best, but don't look too bad. Spines look relatively clean. Except for that one's uh, pretty much tore the pages off, but, you know. Incredible Hulk, that's a decent book. Nothing super exciting, but, you know, for $100 for 300 or so books, uh, what is that, about three for a dollar, so I'm liking it. A little bit of everything. This is kind of what I was expecting to begin with for the price, was stuff like this. I mean, not terrible, filler stuff, you know. Again, three for a dollar, can't really go wrong. It doesn't take much to uh, make money at three for a dollar. I'll just bulk them back out and, you know, pull out anything that I happen to find. 
Marvel Universe. Those are some pretty cool books. Okay, just a couple empties. Exciting. <laughs> Keep knocking this thing every time I bump it. It's kind of changing on me. Sorry about that. Green Lantern. Again, sorry about the angle on this stuff. Limited space right now, so hopefully in the near, very near future, we'll be able to get down to, to the comic room and once it's set up and uh, get to show you guys uh, some fun stuff. I'm looking forward to it. I've been in the industry for about, whew, 25 years now in the comics and collectibles industry. Um, I ran an antique shop for 18 years. We had 7,000 square feet, so we literally dabbled in everything. So it's fun just to uh, take it to a different level now. We got rid of the overhead and get to just do it at home now. It's much funner. And everything's gone online anyway. And with this last year being COVID, <laughs> getting rid of the lease at the right time worked out perfectly for me a couple years back. So... Happy about that. If I don't knock over the camera and break it, that'd be even better. Little Life of Captain Marvel 1. Get a little space in here. Everything wants to lean. to say i'm happy that i bought this at this point uh, and this is one of my favorite runs right here so un so undervalued it's it's sad it's really sad if marvel had this run it would be blowing up one of these days sony will do something with it hasbro paramount the whole bunch i guess what it's e1 now e1 get the movie done e1 Bug. Funny. There is definitely a little bit of everything in here. And there are every which direction, too, which doesn't make it any easier. There we go, some good vintage. Contest of Champions. Got like that. Not too bad of shape, either, really. And two, very nice. New stand, in fact. Of course, back then, most of it was. And three. Nice. Happy about that little, little bit. And the back of a something. A little trade paperback. Now, yeah, that's fantastic for $3.99. Well, that's got a bright cover. 398, so I'll put that over here. 400. Another, I don't remember seeing those, but those are pretty bright. What else? Boy, there is literally everything in here. Yeah, unfortunately, this book box is not very organized, so it's literally every direction. Backwards, forwards, upside down. A whole bunch of Quasar. More Quasar. Oh, they got the whole run in here. 
Well, if anybody's looking for the uh, Quasar run filler, I'm pretty much sure I got that covered. I don't know if anybody would be, but if they are. Or maybe I'll just have the whole run and sell it as a complete run. We will see. JLA. Trying to knock over the camera again. Uh, yay, there's something to be said for consistency, right? There is literally a lot of books in this box. More Green Lantern. More Green Lantern. More Quasar. So yeah, the highlights, pretty darn good for a $100 bill. Uh, Secret Wars 1 all the way through 12 with an extra 12, including that special little 8. I wish we'd get them at $16, huh? That'd be fantastic. And then we got uh, most of Secret Wars 2, well not most, half of it. And then we got Contest Champions 1 through 3, it was a cool little run. And Thanos Imperative along with a lot of filler.